Well, I learnt garden from my grandmother. My grandmother was a great gardener. And so I learnt sort of organically. I learnt just by being with her and my mother also. I've taught nervous gardeners basically not to be afraid and to look for the obvious things. The small, weak, weasley thing, take them out, leave the things that look strong and your garden will thrive. I did that for four years in London. And then when I moved out to the country, I was taking on bigger projects. And to be able to work outside in the open and appreciate the garden and the growth of the garden and at the same time have a way of making a living from it is wonderful. And I think it's very good for us to get our hands in the soil. It's very important to ground ourselves. I was doing gardening, but sometimes you can't do gardening. Your child's ill or the weather's bad but you still have to make a living. So you start making things you need. We needed God, a carrier to carry the rubbish. We needed a bag, we needed a belt, we needed an apron, we needed a jacket. So we made them. I think there's a big appreciation of natural clothing and functional clothing and clothing that will go on and on and is timeless really. What we delight in is employing local people, so we like to be able to accommodate local people. Well, it's really a family business. You have to live for now, and um, if something seems like a good idea, do it, because what, what else are you going to do? You know, you know, sit behind a desk worried all, all your life, you know, jump. Maybe, maybe the water will be very cold, but you can always get out. <laughs>